Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Today we have the 1919 board track racer up on the lift and we're going to be tearing this motor down. We just had this bike out at Sons of Speed Vintage Races in New Smyrna Beach and we were racing this in the Hot 61 board track class. That's, the, that's what we built this bike for. This is a 1919 61, Hot 61 uh, motor and by hot that means uh, unlimited. There's no rules, no restrictions. The only thing is it has to be a 61 cubic inch uh, cases and cylinders. So everything else inside is uh, all juiced up. We have a very high lift cam on here and that's kind of the reason that uh, these are hard to keep together for prolonged periods of time. So we were racing, our teammate Rusty, he was out there riding the bike. The bike was running really well and uh, one of the heat races on like the last lap it actually let loose on us. So today we're gonna dig in, see what's going on we lost our valve train and our mag's not spinning anymore, so we think we have a cam follower issue as well as something else could have sheared or something that is going on in there. So why don't we take this apart and figure out what we got going on. All right, so what we're doing here, we're taking off, um, our gear chest okay, a cover and this is going to let us better see what's going on in here and what I mean by that is like when he was racing he lost all power to the bike and at first we thought we had, might have had a mag issue or something um, no spark it seemed like he said it like the bike just died and uh, you know without knowing I, I, we, I pulled the plug turned the bike over we didn't have any spark so again thought we had a mag issue but uh, a little further investigation and I looked down and I noticed that my push rods for the intakes or the exhaust weren't moving so that's a that's a bad sign um, that usually means that uh, something broke in the cam chest and the cam followers there and it's a common issue with these older bikes you know th this is 100 plus year old hardware we're dealing with you know nothing's we have obviously we have new parts in certain areas but the cases are original a lot of the gears in here are original um, cylinders are original that kind of thing so this is some pretty old uh, old components so it's kind of to be expected but you know that's the challenge of this racing this really early stuff like this is not only getting the most you can get out of it but also, uh, you know, keeping it running. And once we get these things hopped up and running, and we got these high aggressive cams in here, we, it, it's uh, limited testing, you know? So you, you can't just take them out and ride them a ton and beat them up and stuff like you would modern bikes, you know, because you just don't know how long it's gonna hold on for. So as we go along and, and work on this stuff, what we try to do is develop better components and make things stronger and able to take more so that we can go out there, beat on it more and get more familiarized with the bike and what we got to do to make modifications. And that's all part of racing, you know, that's what makes it fun. So this is pretty normal procedure, build, race, break, repeat, just a little bit older as well. We're going to start, we got all the screws out for our, our cover here. So we're going to start wiggling this off. Should have a little bit of oil. Try to lightly pry without touching anything on the surface. And this right here, this sight glass here, and this, this hose coming in, this is actually the oil pump for the motor. So this is a total loss oil system on this motor. What we do is, after every, every time we go out and do a heat race or a lap or whatever, we actually drain our crankcase down and inject four ounces of oil. We try to run about four ounces of oil in the, in the crank is all, at all times. And what that does is, um, no, let's just monitor how much oil is actually in the motor. We, we removed our gear chest cover here and right off the bat first look I, I took our decompression lever I throw it up so I can spin the motor over easily and if you look down in here real close you can see where we sheared a gear 
this is our main pinion gear here. This is what drives the entire, um, you know, cam chest. You can see as you crank the motor over, that's what spins everything. Uh, it, this is your cam here. Your cam followers are behind it. That's what drives your intake exhaust cams up and down. And you have your uh, two gears here that drive back to your mag. And then your mag obviously is what supplies your ignition to the engine. So just by blowing that gear out there, it actually took us out of commission. And that's a bummer because it looks like the cam followers actually stayed intact just by what I can see so far. Um, it's just that, that main little drive gear that it let go on us. So pretty easy fix actually. Um, but we just gotta, gotta get in there and take it apart and obviously replace, replace that and check the other stuff in the motor as well. So our next race for this bike will be in March. Uh, same place down in New Smyrna, and we're gonna, you know, take this thing apart and get her back together. We got our mag detached from the back base, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the uh, intake push rod covers here, and I'm loosening them up, and you can see where the springs and everything are. I'm uh, taking these off because I have to pull the push rods to be able to take this gear chest all the way off. So that's what I'm doing here. There's our front push rod. There's our rear push rod. These little pins right here, they work off the cam followers and the cam itself. They push up and they push on these rocker towers here and those push your intake valves. You have your intakes and your exhausts. And it's an IOE engine, in intake over exhaust. So this is a technically an F head engine uh, early Harley design obviously and um, they ran over the side here your spark plug holes off to the front and then your actual bore for your cylinders over here and these are all one piece cylinders there's no heads or anything like a modern engine where they you could actually remove the heads or even not too much later than this the the flathead that Harley introduced in 1929 so our next step is we're going to uh, remove the screws here um, from, the, from the gear chest. And this is gonna give us access to our actual cam chest to see what all the damage was that we caused during the race here. We have everything off here. We have our push rods, our intake push rods pulled. We have our mag uh, disconnected from the base on the engine itself. And we're just gonna leave our gears intact here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna gently, you know, we had a little seal right here with some like Yama bond. Uh, I'm gonna gently pull this off. That way none of our gears really move here. Uh, not that timing's that big of an issue. We'll, we'll have to retime the motor anyway, but uh, I'm gonna pull this off and this is gonna give us access to our cam chest. Right, and right off the bat, if you look right here, there is all the gears, all the pieces that got chewed up on that gear just laying in the bottom of that chest. That's the kind of stuff you don't want going into a nice motor. <laughs> here is our cam. And it doesn't look be 
oh yeah. You can see we caused some serious damage to the cam here. It ripped off some teeth. Yeah, this this caused some pretty bad damage. That's a bummer too, because that's a brand new cam. And you got shrapnel. You can see all the major shrapnel from our gear here. What happened was this started to go and it just let loose. Shredded everything in there. Chunks of metal falling out. Never a good sign. Um, I guess if there is any good news in this situation is the uh, cam followers themselves seem to be okay. Seem to be pretty well intact. So that is a good thing. Um, obviously, we're going to have to pull this uh, pinion shaft here in this gear. We're going to have to replace all that. And being the amount of metal that's in here and all over the place, we're probably gonna just gonna pull this whole motor. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's just shrapnel everywhere. We're going to have to um, tear the motor down, clean it out, get any of the metal that might have possibly made it into the crankcase itself uh, cleaned up, check everything. And it's never really a bad idea to check anything anyway, just because you know, we're, we're really stressing these things out quite a bit. Um, we're, we're running them way harder than what they were ever intended to. So we're going to uh, pull this motor and start breaking it down and, you know, get it ready for the races here in March. But now we know where we're at. We know what happened. Um, obviously nothing we can't overcome. Could have been much worse. We could have case damage itself, and that's something you just don't want to see. So that's a good thing we don't have any major case damage. So we'll get this thing back up and running and ready to go in a short period of time here. So until next time, we found out all of our issues with the motor. Um, it's good to know now. Uh, every time you blow something up, it's always like that what if, like what happened in there. So it's, it's always good to get it torn down and figure out what's going on. So. You know, we make a lot of these parts and we actually have these gears that we make. Um, so we can tear this down now and we can put our, our new gear in there and, you know, go through the whole engine, make sure that the cylinders and all the bores okay, obviously, because there's a ton of metal in here. So it's just going to be really good practice to pull this whole engine apart at this point and make sure that we don't have any surprises for the next race. So that's our next steps. We're going to uh, tear the whole motor apart go through everything and start putting it back together and uh, get it ready for March. And uh, we'll be back racing with this bike as well as uh, three other of our bikes. We've got a lot of work to do here and also still building the other uh, custom eight valve bike, which is going to be one of our next videos coming up. I'm going to run you through the frame and all the design. We actually got the frame uh, mocked up and tacked up and up on the jig. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment if you guys have any questions or anything like that.